The holidays with the family is the time we all treasure, right? And that's especially true this time of year, especially for one Kansas City mother. Only on 41 Action News reporter Jessica McMaster explains why. Oh, that one's yours. What do you think it is? Came a long way. A long way. Taken from her mom at just three years old, Cassidy Jordan has lived a life of uncertainty. I just was like, I'm tired of going through foster homes and I want to be settled. Growing up in the foster care system, Jordan longed for one thing. And I want to be able to call somebody mama. Adopted at the age of seven, Jordan did find someone she calls mama. And then she became one herself. But depression and PTSD led Jordan down the wrong path. Following in her biological mom's footsteps, Jordan turned to drugs. I wound up losing my housing, losing my car, losing my job. And then she lost it all. Jordan's kids were taken into protective custody in July of last year. Their Christmas that year limited to a supervised visit that ended with Jordan sleeping under a separate roof. It kind of ate me up. Like I was mad and sad, depressed. But Jordan turned her depression into motivation. I literally bust, took a taxi everywhere in the snow, sleep, rain, the heat, everything. I made it to where I needed to go. She did it with help from Daniel Atchison, a volunteer with CASA. The group serves as an advocate for children. Atchison would visit Jordan's children on a monthly basis and report back to the judge. But CASA also provides resources to parents who want to be reunited with their kids. I feel like Cassidy leaned into it, that she wants to be with her children, that she put everything out there, and it's extremely hard. Um, she did it. In May, Jordan regained custody of her kids, two girls and one boy. And I got to buy Christmas presents this year. Last year, I didn't have no job, no money. So this year, I got to buy them something. Mama, a name Jordan wears with pride. I want my kids to know that I can actually take care of them. I didn't have that growing up. Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. And as you heard, Jordan got help from CASA. The group needs more volunteers to ensure the needs of all kids who come into the system are being met. So we have more information about how you can get involved on our website, KSHP.com.